classes suspended at Tivoli Gardens High School following physical altercation between student and teacher. National Works Agency taking municipal corporations to task for placement of electronic billboards which are a source of distraction for motorists. Jamaica's COVID-19 positivity rate increased to 38.2%. World Bank slashes global growth forecast for 2022 by nearly a third to 2.9% and warns that many countries now face recession. Acting Director of Safety and Security in Schools, Richard Troop, is investigating yesterday's incident. Mr. Troop says the team met with administrators at the school this morning. In an interview with Radio Jamaica News, he said the video reflects the need for the teaching of conflict management in schools. As a ministry, we're very concerned about the incidents of violence in our schools. Um, this is yet again. Um, another revelation of that reality. Um, quite frankly, I'm also very concerned about the, the the fact that it was it was captured on camera and posted in the social space because yet again it is demonstrating how irresponsible we can be with such matters. I'm happy to see in the video the effort of a number of students in their attempt to try to de-escalate the situation. Those students should be commended. The Minister of Education's Acting Director of Safety and Security in Schools, Richard Troop, Tivoli Gardens High Principal Marvin Johnson reportedly fainted following the incident and remains in hospital. The physical confrontation between the 16-year-old student and the teacher happened about 11 o'clock yesterday morning. It supported that class was in session when the student entered, causing a disturbance. He was asked by the teacher to leave but refused, which led to a fight. The teacher sustained injuries including to her face. The student was charged with assault occasioning bodily harm and malicious destruction of property as the teacher's glasses were damaged. He was granted station bail and is scheduled to appear in court on June 21. And Mr. Troop says to date, 104 primary and high schools are benefiting from a partnership with the Ministry of Justice and Conflict Management Training. We will continue this effort beyond this cycle of training now as the ministry is also committed to engage another 105 schools for the new upcoming academic year in such training. We believe that such training, the restorative practices training, will help our students, our parents and our educators again with requisite skills. Acting Director of Safety and Security in Schools, Richard Troop, and Head of the Kingston Western Police Senior Superintendent, Michael Phipps, told Radio Jamaica News that the police have been trying without success to arrange intervention meetings with the Tivoli High Principal in light of disciplinary issues at the school. He says the school is among several in the police division which have been experiencing challenges. SSP FIP says meetings have been held with most principals in Western Kingston and efforts are being made to address the issues. In the meantime, Jamaica Teachers Association JTA President Winston Smith has come to the defense of the teacher in the video amid criticism that she should have shown restraint. Mr. Smith says an investigation is underway to determine how the altercation started. He says he does not believe that a teacher would initiate violence against a student. The argument will always be put that the teacher should be the professional in the classroom. And yes, we agree. But when you're provoked beyond the measure, it is a different thing. We do sympathize with our teacher, our member. And um, as the day unfolds, I will make the necessary steps to find out what is the nature of her injuries and how things are happening. Mr. Smith says teachers are concerned that the classroom is no longer safe. He says the society must condemn antisocial behavior among students. Teachers are now concerned significantly about what is happening and how readily it is for students of varying age to feel it is okay to execute violence on them. And therefore, we are calling on all well-thinking Jamaicans, but in particular, the parents of, 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 of children in school to take charge of your children. We need to have that the parents getting more involved and to have proper discourse with their ch child or children 
to have them understand that you go to school to learn. And there's always avenues to solve our, um, any problem. But it must be that the students are willing to listen. Jamaica Teachers Association President Winston Smith. A security guard employed to the Jamaica China Goodwill Infant School in Morant Bay in that's Morant Bay St. Thomas or Morant St. Thomas was shot and killed last night. He's been identified as 35 year old Damien Chisholm of Stalhut, Port Morant St. Thomas. It's supported that about 9 30 Mr. Chisholm was among a group of persons on Queen Street in Morant Bay when four masked men walked up and opened gunfire. Mr. Chisholm was shot several times. He died at the Princess Margaret Hospital. The National Works Agency, NAA, is taking municipal corporations to task for the placement of electronic billboards, which are a source of distraction for motorists. NAA communication manager Stephen Shaw says apart from the dazzling lights, some of the billboards are placed at dangerous locations, including behind the traffic lights. Mr. Shaw says the NAA has been trying to get the municipal corporations to work with the agency when granting approval for billboards. You observe of late a number of electronic billboards going up all over the place you look at some of the locations where they have placed these billboards directly behind traffic lights okay. and i can point you to um eastwood park road uh, uh, um, by red hills road i can point you to um, um that that intersection by corville and I've, and it is something that we have spoken about you know and 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 i and here the Kingston and St. Andrew Municipal, Municipal Corporation because no one can put up any of those things without getting some permission. And the KCC ought to be mindful as to where and how it goes about granting these types of approval. NWA Communication Manager Stephen Shaw. Mr. Shaw was speaking today on the morning agenda on Power 106. Jamaica's COVID-19 positivity rate has increased to 38.2%. The Minister of Health says 174 COVID-19 cases were confirmed yesterday from 2,307 samples. Six more patients are being treated at hospital for the virus, increasing total hospitalizations to 125. Meanwhile, Jamaica's COVID-19 death toll now stands at 3,076. Two more fatalities were reported in St. Catherine. They occurred between March and September last year. The World Bank today slashed its global growth forecast by nearly a third to 2.9% for 2022, warning many countries now face recession. In its Global Economic Prospects report, the World Bank said the war in Ukraine had magnified the slowdown in the global economy, which is now entering what could be a protracted period of feeble growth and elevated inflation. The World Bank warned that the outlook could still grow worse. In a news conference, World Bank President David Maupass said global growth could fall to 2.1% in 2022 and 1.5% in 2023, driving per capita growth close to zero if downside risks materialized. And the Economic Commission for Latin America and the Caribbean says the war in Ukraine has quickened inflation, reduced growth and increased poverty in the region. It said the region's economies face a difficult scenario in 2022 in an external context of uncertainty, inflation and a deceleration of economic activity and trade. Now, the commission noted that 7.8 million people are forecast to join the 86.4 million others whose food security is already at risk. <laughs> 